Hi, welcome everyone. I am Annalisa and welcome to my channel. I'm doing uh, pick a card readings mainly on this channel and today I'm going to do a reading looking into some new love guidance. Um, how to bring it in, um, how to recognize it, some advice from spirit, that kind of stuff. It's a new reading so I've got like, notes here because there's 10 cards and I can't remember exactly all of them so I've got my notes here and I've got some patchouli going to kind of ground us and anchor us in the body. Patchouli is all about being in tune with the physical senses and uh, so this is really good for sensuality, for physicality, it's really good for um, using during um, yoga or exercise, something like that. And uh, I'm going to use uh, four decks today, four choices for you. So I have, um, I, I'm not quite sure which way around this is going <laughs> when you watch it, whether it's left to right or right to left. But anyway, this one on this side is going to be number one. And this is a, a citrine point and it's the Arcanum Tarot. This is a chrysoprase. Um, this was given to me by a, a family friend in Tanzania and it's pure rough, um, rough crystal. And I just love, I love these kind of raw, rough crystals, unpolished, unshaped, just pure rock. And that's the Morgan, Morgan Greer Tarot. And this one is a beautiful amethyst point, uh, untreated and uncolored. Again, like them very um, pure and natural, my crystals. And that's on the Shadowscape deck. And then I have a peacock ore, which is just incredible, natural, beautiful colors and um, sparkly shades. That's with the Cosmic Tarot. So, one, two, three, four. Tune in which one is calling to you and uh, and go for that link below. I'll put the timestamps below. I'm also going to use um, the Romance Angels for some extra clarity and the uh, Akashic Tarot to clarify any cards and give them more information. Okay, so I'm going to do a little prayer and you can just skip to the timestamp below if you want to, um, or you can stay and join me with the, the prayer. Divine Sophia, Eternal Beloved, bless this space with your immaculate grace. Surround us with white light, diamond walls of protection. Hold us in your love and embrace. Make me a channel for your pure intention and heart to share clear, helpful information with those in my audience and listening and tuning in. Please open our hearts to divine love, to compassion, humility, unconditional love. Allow us to be in a space where we hold and respect one another. Listen with guidance. Tune into our own knowing our own understanding. Bring us health, joy, peaceful times. Amen. Okay. I'm gonna light a second candle.
small space here. I need a bigger desk, but I live in a small space, so we make make use of what we have, right? Okay, on this line. All right, not helpful. So I'm going to shuffle now. Just a few extra shuffles through. The Arcanum Tarot is a really beautiful, beautiful deck. It's a new one that I have, and uh, I'm not always a fan of the kind of photographic style images, but uh, these ones somehow um, feel good. Uh, the only thing is that it's, it's hard to shuffle these, this deck. They're quite um, thick cards, and they're just, I can just fit my hands around them. But they're kind of tricky. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles again. Just see if the image means anything to you, your own feeling or guidance regarding it. Two of Pentacles is generally about having options and choices. So for this group, okay, the Chariot and Three of Cups. So for this group, what, um, what I'm feeling before we start is that you have choices in love. You have choices in what you want to bring or create in the world. So you may or may not be fixed on a particular person. Um, but some, you know, often we can do, we can get um, absorbed by this idea that there's one person for us or one, um, one relationship, one soulmate. And I feel like the guidance that's coming through for you right now is that there, that you in particular, because we all have different experiences and different agreements and, and contracts in this life, I'm feeling that you have an options. You can make a choice. Um, there isn't necessarily one specific person who you must be with. And some people might not like that idea that it's not romantic and they, they love the idea of the one and finding the one. But actually for you, this is more of like an empowering choice. Like, what do you want in your life? Who do you want to bring in? What do you want to create? You don't have to settle or um, accept something that doesn't feel truly amazing and powerful to you. you. You have the ability to choose and create and have options in love. And so it's really about taking your own power back when you when you let go of the idea of the one. Um, and I personally went through a journey of um, not believing there was a one that, you know, there's lots of soulmates and we choose from our beautiful soulmates who we'd like to spend this lifetime with um, to completely thinking there was one to back to thinking, no, actually, <laughs> there is a choice. Um, and it's, it's really empowering and we really claim who we are and what we want and our sovereignty when we really acknowledge that, yes, I have a choice. This is my life to, to create and to experience. And there are many beautiful souls out there and we can fall in love with many different people. And, and we have that um, ability to, to make that choice ourselves. So you have a choice, group number one, okay? So this is, um, with these questions, is maybe guiding you to find either the, the highest level soulmate that you could attract in right now or the next soulmate that's kind of coming up for you. So let's cut the cards. Okay, King of Wands, Five of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse. 
Nine of Wands, Page of Swords, Four of Cups, Five of Swords, the Empress in Reverse, and the King of Pentacles. Lots of people. You've got two kings and two queens. You've got one of each, <clears throat> one of each suit. Major Arcana. Just one Major Arcana, the Empress in Reverse. Okay, lots of people here. Um, I feel this is to do with your, <clears throat> excuse me, to do with your, um, it's this crazy incense, <laughs> uh, to do with your own personality and the way you embody and um, the, the things for you to embody or let go of. So let's see. First of all, why haven't I found them? Okay, we've got the King of Wands. This could mean a couple of different things. The King of Wands, so this represents um, typically fire signs, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They, um, they're they very charismatic, um, can be dramatic, can be quite powerful, intense characters, and passionate, maybe very spiritual, maybe very um, lively, they can be the kind of um, person who enjoys attention uh, and attention from multiple people. Why haven't you met them? This could represent you. So if you're female, it could be that you've been very in your masculine energy um, and in a very kind of dominant, powerful, creative energy. And so maybe too much. So maybe this is about letting go of control, letting go of um, trying to make things a certain way, of um, trying to um, yeah, dominate, dominate control of the situation uh, or, or a past situation. This could also represent, if, if you're male, then this could represent you um, you being overly in your passionate fire energy, it does tend to um, represent men who can be seeing multiple people. So it may be that you are just enjoying the field and life and, and taking your different options. Um, for some of you, this may represent you have met the one, you have met the person. And they may be a fire sign. So there's some different options there. Um, I'll see if any clarification wants to come through from the Akashic Tarot on there. Mm, the Akashic Library. So this is about... Um, the stored wisdom and knowledge of our whole experience and lives. It is about the past. This could be to do with a past life, past situation, past relationship. It could be you've been in a relationship with the King of Wands and maybe um, uh, been attached to it and it stopped you opening up and meeting other people or meeting, meeting new people, or it was just your last relationship. Okay, so let's carry on. How to overcome it. Five of Pentacles in reverse. So the Five of Pentacles is all about feeling left out, feeling isolated, feeling poor, feeling like a beggar, feeling like you're um, separated or unsupported by life, um, especially in a physical, practical sense. So feeling... Um, physically isolated. So this is in reverse. So how do you overcome it? It's overcoming this mentality, overcoming a lack mentality, overcoming this idea that you are somehow um, a victim of your circumstance, that you have no um, ability to manage the situation you're in, that you have to beg, that you have to ask, that you have to lower yourself, that you are not engaged or not involved in 
in your love life or in a partnership, in a relationship. And um, what can you do to meet the person? It's the Queen of Swords in reverse. The Queen of Swords is quite cool, judgmental. Um, she can be quite cutting. She's non-emotional. She, she knows the truth. Um, but because this is in reverse, I feel like this is letting go of um, some type of communication, like harsh communication, harsh words. Um, being overly um, quick to speak, quick to communicate, um, softening, softening your your um, feelings towards those of the sex you're interested in. So letting go of um, judgments. Letting go of judgment. Big one. Easy, right? Just let go of judgment. It's fine. How will you know them? Queen of Cups in reverse. So the Queen of Cups is, um, she's the queen of, of love. She's very empathic, very nurturing. How will you know them? This may be their ex. You know, they may have been with a, a queen um a queen of cups she's um i didn't mention cups so cups is water sign pisces cancer scorpio so the x may have been a, a, a one of those signs um or you may be in a very emotional state when you meet them because the queen of cups when she's reversed she's overly emotional lost in her feelings um, ungrounded, you know, weepy, crying a lot, angry a lot, um, when you're kind of in distress, you know, this kind of like slightly distressed situation. Um, they also, the person may have been in a, a breakup, maybe feeling emotional from a breakup with someone. Let me get a clarification on that one. Mm. Intuition. This is about listening to your intuition and your inner guidance. Listening to the voices of spirit. Really tuning in to your internal knowing, internal wisdom. So you may have a deep sense inside. This could be um, your own inner knowing, your own intuition that you'll just know. And you'll get this, you may be overwhelmed by emotion when you meet them. You may get this flood, flood of insight or flood of feeling um, that you, you can't explain. You know, that's just that, you know, love at first sight, but it's that love at first feel, right? Love at first feel. It's like that wave that goes through you and just overwhelms you. Okay, where, how you know them? Where will you find them? We've got the nine of wands here. So symbolically, this is, um, this is the warrior who's been through it all and is still standing and still ready to fight again. Someone who's um, about to stand up and and make some kind of go for it you know another go for it I mean this could this could represent a reunion this could represent because it's the ones and the king of ones it could represent going back to that person if that really resonates with you you may feel that actually this reading is a potentially about going back to someone a reunion always remember from the beginning of the reading you have a choice okay so you may have a choice to reunite with someone but it's up to you whether you really want to or not and it's listening to this intuition this overwhelming of feelings are you too overwhelmed by feelings some of you who are thinking about going back with someone just listening to that intuition is it good for you is the situation good for you tuning in where will you meet them i mean we've got like a historic building behind a doorway a gateway this could symbolize you're going to meet them at a 
um, a change, a transformation point in your life where you're stepping into some kind of new place, going through a new gateway, literally in a new place, in a new, like a place you've never been before, is what I mean, new place. Somewhere um, you may travel to somewhere different. It could be quite an old, the actual location could be quite an old place. It could be a... Um, could be a church it looks like it could be a, like a church building it's quite old um old style <laughs> old older building outside an older building i mean the with the um wands and it kind of looks like a church to me it could be somewhere spiritual so it could be a spiritual group or meet up something like that Okay, well let me get one of these as extra guidance. Where where will group number one meet this love? That was very clear. Ah, chess game. So this could be in a, um, again we've got this kind of stately home, this old, old buildings. Um, but there's also for me, <laughs> this kind of floor, I just think of a kitchen. <laughs> in a kitchen. Um, this is very specific. In the kitchen of an old building. In the kitchen of an old church. <laughs> Let me know if that's true. Um, and this card in itself as well, the chess game, it's about this ongoing kind of... Um, exploration or interaction of you know it can be these different moves and feel like one move another move there's the chess game has this kind of sense of logistics um being very clever it can be this can also uh be about um kind of you know trickery that kind of like finding a way in so um yeah, the games, playing games. Some of you may be gamers. Interesting. I'd like to know more about that, if you have any insight. Okay, what's the next one? Where, when will I find them? Page of Swords. So this is quick energy. This is, um, the sword energy is the quickest of all of them. It represents days, usually. Lucky you. The page, to me, specifically is ten days. 10 days <laughs> um but it generally it's in the near future in the near future um yeah okay guidance four of cups so i think this is for for some of you who are experiencing feeling left out or feeling lonely or isolated right now, the guidance is to connect with your own inner fulfillment. You know, she's looking down at the cups that are here, the cups that are being offered, and it's, she's kind of disappointed. But she doesn't see this fourth cup that's overflowing here. That's just, in, in fact, three of the cups here are overflowing and this one's kind of empty. So the guidance is really to choose, make the choice, what fulfills you. I'm getting the strong message of some of you here. This is about someone returning and you have to make the decision as to whether this is really what you want or not and whether this is really fulfilling because I feel like you do have options and choices and you may be in the habit of making choices that aren't actually the best for you. You may feel you know, overly in your emotion that it is the best choice, but you need to really have good boundaries, which mean setting the standards of what's okay and what's not okay for you and being comfortable with that. Because when you set boundaries and set your standards, you will attract in someone who can meet those. Whereas if you let go of what you think you're worthy of or what's you know, you just kind of accept something because it's offered or because it's there or because of your, um, like a habit. It can be a habit that you go into. You need to really check 
that this is fulfilling for you, okay? For some of you, I feel like someone's coming in with an offer. They're a page, you know? You've been there before. They may they may have op they may have options themselves. This is not for everyone. For some of you, this is just about um, letting go of the past and allowing in someone new and accepting um, a new kind of inspiration and overflowing um, passion that is available. That is available. That is coming in. Okay. Your first impression, yeah, five of swords. Yeah, I mean, five of swords is about conflict and it's about um, communication that can feel harsh and sharp. You know, this is this queen of swords in reverse energy. It's someone who... Um, or a situation where it feels uncomfortable, it doesn't feel loving or nourishing, supporting. Mm. Okay, guys, for this, for this group, I don't feel like this is about a new person. I feel like this is you needing to let go of an old person. And this is what we're dealing with here or, or, or working with this um, past person. Because the end, the, at the end of the spread, we've got the King of Pentacles, and this is the um, the wisdom for the future. And I feel like this spread is dealing with this King of Wands, and you have a choice. Okay, male or female. I feel this is just representing you have a choice, or Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. You have a choice, and you need to make the choice of what's really supporting you and, and benefiting you and you may have to for some of you go into um if you're kind of reuniting or or um when you meet this person it may be with a a kind of in a bit of conflict some people like that you know some people are attracted to the drama to the conflict to the um banter um, you know, this, this, some of you on a lighter note, this could be when you meet the person, it, there might be just in this kind of lighthearted kind of, um, play, play fight, you know, like, um, maybe they ding your car or something like that. And you, uh, you have to have a little, a little few words about it. And so you've got to have this kind of discussion. It's minor arcana, it's not major arcana, but um, for some of you, this could be a, a more difficult or repeating conversation. That's what you need to be aware of. Is this a, a repeating pattern or is this um, just a kind of how we meet? We're going to meet, I'm going to meet this new person. There might be a bit of banter to start with. Okay. Common bond between you. We've got the empress in reverse. The Empress is about abundance and about new beginnings, about um, nature and and uh, um, the earth. In reverse, this may be, this may be um, a particular person this represents in your life, and maybe you you both have a. A dislike for this person or a, um, a, a confrontation with this person. <laughs> uh, this could also be um, about the, you know, feeling the, the, the pain of the ecology of our earth, you know, how, um, uh, how the earth is being mistreated or misused or um, exploited and that you may both be feeling like we need to do something about this. This could be this five of swords. You know, this five of swords could be about protest. You could meet at a protest about earth issues, humanity, humanitarian issues.
And then, yeah, your wisdom for the future is the king of pentacles. So this is about really being grounded, about making solid decisions, looking after your finances and your practical solutions in life. So um, for those of you who, this is, a, you know, a kind of new person, you're meeting, you're letting go of the past, you're going to feel this intense emotion, um, you've got to really um, allow yourself to overcome judgment about this person because they might have different views from you, different opinions of you. And yeah, you might you might have different ideas about what what is the way to help the earth right now or about particular people. But, you know, for a lot of you, this is going to bring in a really strong, solid relationship. I love this card in terms of relationships because it is so grounded and solid and with a plan. It's steady. Um, it's comfort. It's physicality. It, it's connection to the ground and um, connection to the, the senses and the body. It's the earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And this can also be about you, for some of you, where you're dealing with someone maybe tricky from the past. This can be about you being able to stand in your power in a very grounded, solid way and, and set any boundaries you need to. A few different messages coming through for that group. I hope it wasn't too confusing and you got the message that you needed from it. Drop a comment below if you want to have a chat about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. You can get a personal reading with me through the links below. Please give me a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Wait, before I go, I'm going to get a um, romance angel card for you. This one. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Yeah, I feel this is like, whether this is a new person or old person, it's like really getting in touch with aligning okay being grounded in your heart but also logical in your mind connecting all of these and being able to express then from your throat allowing yourself to speak allowing yourself to talk uh, and I feel like someone in this situation if it's a past may not be listening or or someone might find it hard to hear the other so you may be maybe you have to first demonstrate how to listen so that you can then be heard. First, you demonstrate, I listen to you, your opinion, your ideas, what you think, I'll really listen and then, and then I can have my chance to speak, but first I need to listen. For those of you who are maybe a little bit more conscious or, or watching this or in tune because you see one person isn't really listening in this situation. They're looking away. So listen to them first. Let them speak first. Let's get one more. Stay optimistic about your love life. I so, I'm sorry if I was a bit harsh sometimes, but um, tarot is direct. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay positive. Believe it's coming. There may be some... Blah, going on <laughs> to start with um whether this is a new person or whatever it, it's you know you've got a little bit to work through first um but being open and having the conversations looking after yourself your mind you'll be fine it's gonna happen the cards say so sending lots of love thank you for tuning in speak to you again another time shuffle the cards and deal them
So it's kind of a new spread, so it's good. To, um, I'm going to pause a little bit at the beginning just to tune into the overall meanings before I speak too much. Actually, no, I'm going to do it a different way this time. I am professional. Learn through doing. Three of Swords, the Devil at the bottom of the deck. Some of you have been through a real heartbreak. You've been through some real difficult and dark situations, but things are changing. That's in the past. You've learnt, Ace of Cups, how to love yourself. You've been deceived and, and potentially stabbed in the back, manipulated, dark night of the soul, but you're coming out, okay? You're coming out. Justice is coming in. Maybe messages. Messages of forgiveness, apologies. That kind of thing. Yeah, page page of pentacles keeps coming out. This is um, we're going to receive a message. Understanding. You're going to receive understanding. The message may be your own insight. Really tune in right now. I feel like there's something here that's going to come through for you. That's um, going to help you heal. first card out. Why haven't you met them? Five of Swords. Well, you may have been involved in some conflict. You may have been, um, really, I think this is going back to what we were just saying. You may have been hurt in the past, been in quite difficult um, situations where you really felt victimized or attacked or manipulated um, you've been in the process of letting go of, of those kind of difficult situations and harsh words. This could be harsh thoughts, even in your mind, like just having these kind of um, feeling down about yourself or, or negative self-talk, like you don't deserve something, you don't believe in yourself, or there's, there's been some kind of mental or verbal battle that's been going on. And you are, you've been in the process of letting go of what's not helping you and just holding on to the truths, to the truths that you know are real, what's really important for you and just um, like owning them, really clarifying what's good for me, what's not. And, and letting the sun set on the previous engagement some of you might still be involved in this kind of ongoing mental or verbal battle for some of you it's it's that's in the past and you're walking away from that you've left that now how to overcome it two of swords you need to meditate really on on what um on what's going on the two of swords it's about you know, so you've walked away, you've got your few swords, your kind of lessons, maybe even options or ideas. And now you might still feel confused about what your options are in life or in love or, or just some ideas still in your mind about what you think you need or want or deserve. Like there's still some kind of conflict going on maybe you're still attached to something from the past you're still still releasing something and so the solution to this is all about going inside you're blindfolded it's like shutting the eyes 
which for me is symbolic of shutting the eyes, shutting the ears, blocking out all the external world and just going in. So really, this is why I say meditating, being on your own, being in your own space, really spending time to connect to what's going on inside, allowing you to feel whatever feelings are, are, are going on, whatever they are. Um, allow anything just to be felt because in feeling things, you release them, right? In, in allowing it to be noticed and acknowledged, it moves through your system and you can process it. That's why it's so important to feel or to cry or to move because when you move, um, your body, then you kind of start to feel what's going on inside it. So it's really tuning in internally and listening to yourself, what's important or what's going on. It doesn't even matter. Just listen. Just listen. What's going on? No judgment. Don't try and block it out. Just listen to yourself. What can you do to meet a new person? Wait. I love this. What do you do? Just chill hang out because this is about all about letting your ships come in it's all about waiting for something that's already already coming to you so you know you you've already sent out what you want you've you've already done all that work to put it out there and it's just about you allowing it to come in so this is really a, like a beautiful message of stillness for you right now just um you know, not in activity completely. You're still kind of in passion. It's still one's fire energy. Um, but you don't need to do anything other than just expect. <laughs> and I mean, keep your expectations open, but no, maybe rather than expect, just know it's coming. Don't need to do anything. It's cool. Okay. How will you know them? The world. Wow. So this could be someone um, at a distance from you. It could be someone far away. Uh, this person also, they've got just everything that you like. You've got, they've got all the elements. You know, this has all the, um, the, the well, four star signs. Uh, Leo, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and another one. Which earth sign? I think it's Taurus. Yeah, I think it's Taurus. Um, so they're just going to have the combination. could be one of those star signs or they're just going to have this combination of elements that just feel like everything to you. The The world card is it's 21 in the um, major arcana. It's the completion of the fool's journey. And it is about everything coming together. So it's going to feel like... <gasps> Everything has come together. This person has exactly what I need. It's quite likely there's an element of travel here. They are going to travel to you. You wait for them to come to you. They are, they are the one who needs to come in. Whether that's literally, physically travel. Or just bringing in the introduction the meeting the whatever they're coming to you okay uh where will i find them six of pentacles again this is about balance you don't need to find them or go looking for them this is about um it's about balance it's not about being completely passive you know it's not um complete completely passive might be like the, the high priestess here but this is the like the ones so it's like welcoming and um, uh, you know that kind of um, active listening, active waiting, <laughs> responsive. You're going to be responsive. You know, when they come in, you respond um, equally, fairly. So you don't pour everything into them. You're like they say hi. It's not like hi. Oh my god. Blah 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 blah. You're just like hi. Equal, balanced, responsive. What was this? <laughs> where, where will I find them? This could be at work. It could be work related with the pentacles. Anything to do with the body, physicality. Could be in uh, kind of exercise class. Could be um, something, something to do with um, an exchange. 
some kind of exchange purchase um, moving someone could be like moving like literally moving home they may be moving toward like near you there may be a, like someone introducing you like a middle person who's um creating the the connection through a friend friend or work colleague okay when when will i find them high priestess i mean <laughs> this is the passive you don't need to i feel like don't focus on that you don't need to focus on it they're coming everything is coming to you it's going to be balanced it's going to be beautiful it's going to be wholesome you don't focus on the question don't focus on the when just no <clears throat> guidance Justice again. This is about this fairness and this balance. Um, it's about being quite logical, keeping keeping things in check, especially in terms of communication, keeping your mind in check. I I feel like. There isn't too much for you to do. Generally, you know, the, the guidance is let go of the worries and the doubts and the uncertainties and what's going to happen. How am I going to do it? Because it's coming to you already and it's going to be fair and it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be um, all the things that you want. Allow your passion to come just to come into you. This is really the message for your group. Your first impressions, king of pentacles. So whether you're male or female, this person is going to be very grounded very um, stable, steady, sensual. It's the physical body, you know, Taurus. Taurus is just like love sensuality and they love the body. And so this could be Taurus, could be Virgo, could be Capricorn, um, could just be a, a man who is stable, steady, potentially wealthy, um, successful, or just strong in their body, strong on the earth, likely physically strong, um, or, um, yeah, has that kind of muscle or weight behind them. Nice. Your, your first impression is, wow, they're, they're pretty solid. You know, even if you're a guy watching this and this is about a woman, so she's going to be, like, pretty strong. She's going to be a strong, determined woman, okay? Or a woman about a woman. Because just, you know... Do that thing where you just like take what you need. <laughs> Common bonds. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Four of Wands card. It's the twin flame card if you like twin flame thingy things. Um, it's also just your passion. Grounded. The four is structure. The ones are passion and spirituality together. It's like grounding your passion, grounding your spirituality preparing preparing for marriage there's also this card nice reading group number two nice nice reading wisdom for the future king of swords got another king coming here maybe there's going to be a, a choice there's going to be someone else or this could be the kind of swordy person from the past who's hanging around or kind of getting involved or a transformation of someone even from the past the wisdom but the wisdom is to have clarity of mind to have perspective to to have mm, i mean this is very very grounded uh and decisive energy there's you know there's no cups in this reading this is about um and i'm, I'm okay with that i don't think that's a problem i just feel like the guidance and the thing that's coming through for you is about having clarity, about being grounded, about embracing your passion um, and being quite kind of solid and, and welcoming that, you know, not these kind of ups and downs and waves and whatever. It, it's about just being very solid, stable and, and clear, clear and precise and just allow it in. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's get some romance angel cards for you. 
Group number two, please. Romance Angels, what would you like to contribute to the conversation? Do they want to contribute? Yes. Calling in your soulmates, of course. Your prayers, affirmations and visualize, visualizations help bring you together. Of course, just knowing, knowing it's coming. I feel like you've already done this. You've already put out the call. It's coming, it's coming. So cool, so cool. And this one, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Beautiful. What a beautiful, clear reading. This is quite a shorter reading than group number one, but you're glad, you're good. You know, you want that because it's a nice, clear reading. Just allow it in. Just allow it in. Excited for you, group number two. Congratulations. Oh, give me a like and all that stuff. Comment. You can get a private reading with me below. That kind of thing. Group number three, I'm going to shuffle, Let's see what's coming in for you. Ten of cups at the bottom of the deck. What is the message for you? Ten of cups is good, by the way. It means being happy and content. Everything emotionally fulfilling you. It is family. The expansion of family. It usually has a rainbow on it. Hope. Connection. Diversity. Seven of Wands, yeah, I saw this a few times. Protection and being defensive. Seven of Wands can be about defending yourself against Nine of Swords, your fears and your worries and your anxieties. Keep your, um, I feel like this is just saying, just keep your, your worries, you know, don't give them too much credit. Don't invest in them too much because they are, um, uh, what's the word? Not real. Hi Priestess, tune in and listen. Keep meditating. You're in your power. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, one more. I've got my notes because I can't remember all the cards. Why haven't you met your person yet? Oh, Queen of Cups. What, what I'm getting from this is either you have, maybe you've already met the person and you kind of know and you've got this intuition and this sense that, of the person. Also, it could be that you have been becoming the queen. You have been in the process. Yeah, this is a stronger one. You've been in the process of becoming who you really are, who you truly are. So really connecting with your heart, with your softness. The queen of cups is the queen of love. She is... Uh, an empath, a deep empath, deeply connected with her feelings and her knowing, her intuition, her sensing. And it, you have been in the process of coming into this um, place of um, connection with, with that truth in you, whether you're male or female, it's like you've been healing this feminine aspect, you know, integrating this feminine aspect into this whole. And so really allowing yourself to receive, learning how to receive, how to be loved, letting yourself 
be cared for and receiving it, really letting it in. It's beautiful. And that's a really good reason. It's really important, right? You need to do that. How to overcome it? Well, you don't need to. You may still have some heartbreak, okay? You may still have some um, wounding from the past. Uh, but I feel like it's in the past, you know, it is in the past. You may have been hurt quite badly, felt like real, like, you know, knife in the heart kind of situation or where you've really felt wounded. Um, but I feel like it's in the past. I feel like you, you have overcome the difficulties that you needed to and um, you can let it go. You, you don't need to work on that so much. What can you do to meet your new person? Four of Swords. This is healing, rest, meditation, taking time out for yourself, letting go of doing, letting go of trying to do anything except look after yourself. This is really about self-nurturing, nourishment, allowing yourself to be with friends, be in nature, um, just like really just being being in touch with everything that's going on inside and just allowing yourself to um, just rest. Just rest. That's all you need to do. Easy. <laughs> How will you know this person? Ten of Swords. Ah, this is in reverse. Ten of Swords in reverse. So this person... They may have been through like a big... Um, transformation. Uh, they may have been through a kind of ego death process. It's interesting, we've got quite a few swords cards here coming up, so you may be dealing with an air sign. But this person um, you or they there may be something to do with healing around it that you meet or that you know them um, because of the process, either you or they have been through, it's like maybe you've been through a similar process or a similar, um, a similar time of, of, yeah, having to release history. Maybe you've got similar history or similar relationship pattern that you've been working through or healing. I want to get a clarification one on this one. From the Akashic Tarot. That was the card. Hmm, Queen of Scrolls. So this is about you. And your knowing. What was this? How will you know them? You might not know. You might literally not know who it is. Yeah, when <laughs> to start with, or right now, you don't know. Or spirit might not want you to know. You know, sometimes the best lessons in life, they unfold. They allow us to unfold um, in our own learning, and our own growing. Wow, the sky looks blue. It is blue. Great. It was really cloudy when I started. Mm. You, you might... Mm. There might be this there might be this kind of unburdening like when you meet them or you you'll feel this kind of uh release of of the past like um a real letting go of a lot of pain like it, that may be part of the process with them is that there's this um Uh, this releasing of, of, yeah, your kind of history or the, the pains. And they may help you transform and help you kind of let go of, of feelings of wounding from the past. Let's see, where will you find them? Knight of Wands. Um, so this is someone who's quite passionate. I, I feel like this is someone who's going to come to you. 
um, rather than you need to go and find them. I feel like they're coming to you, but it's going to be quite passionate, quite forward, maybe quite physical. This person could be quite flirty, um, quite fun, playful. Um, they may be adventurous, you know, like uh, they enjoy exploring, especially in spiritual realms or exploring their passions, doing what they love. And they may come to you and, and um, uh, when you're when you're in your element, you know, when you're just enjoying yourself and enjoying your life and they'll they'll kind of come in. Um, it's all nature. So we've got a kind of lion beast and foxes. They're out in in the wild. So it could be out in forests or um, mountains in fields out out in kind of the wild green green wild. But I feel like they're going to find you, if you know what I mean. Okay. When? This is <laughs> temperance. Temperance means patience. It's like, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> you just got to be patient. I want to know. Um, when? When the time is right. In divine timing, you will meet them. Thanks. Thanks, cards. Tarot can be so annoying sometimes. Guidance. Eight of swords. More swords. You may feel trapped in a situation with this person. And maybe um, you feel like... Maybe... For some of you, if this is someone you already know, because I'm getting the feeling for some of you, this could be someone from the past who hurt you, who's coming back in time. You've got to be patient. They, you may feel like this situation is over. It's awkward. There's too much history, blah, blah, blah. The cards are just saying, keep the faith. Keep the faith. There's, there's, there's hope. There's hope. And so this person may try and come back and kind of pull out some of the swords or or just be playful or whatever. Just stay hopeful, the cards are saying. Sorry. Um, for those of you who it isn't someone from the past, it's someone new, the guidance. It may feel like this situation is difficult. So maybe there may be external situ external um influences that make it difficult you know whether um it's you know they're in a different different religion from you or in a different country or um there's something that may feel uh like stuck you know maybe your families don't get on or so something something that kind of feels difficult in the circumstance and so the cards are just saying, keep the hope, keep the faith. Your first impression, <laughs> five of pentacles, uh, that you may be left out. That this person doesn't like you or doesn't want you. This person could be in another relationship right now. Um, and they may be in the process of coming out of that. And you may have to be patient to give them time to do that, time for them to heal, because they may be the one who is stuck. Um, for some of you, you may be the one who is still stuck, who's still healing and coming out. Um, but yeah, you may feel at first like they are this beautiful, incredible dragon full of a light and wonder, and you might feel like they don't care or they don't like you or they don't want to be with you okay and that's why the guidance is you've got to keep the hope and keep the faith common bond between you here's the seven of wands it came out you're both very defensive <laughs> you may be defensive with one another for those of you who this is about a past person you may be like no way swords up don't come anywhere near me 
um, new person or common bond, you may both be um, very protective of your family, protective of those you love or protective of yourself. Goes both ways. Um, protecting yourself, you know, for both both kind of potentialities. You may both be fighting for a cause, fighting for something. Um, you know, the earth, humanity, animals, whatever it is, you're, you might be both defending or protesting or, you know, standing up for something that you really believe in. Could be another option. You may both be quite passionate, like fighters, willing to stand up, you know, wi willing to say what you think, willing to um, hold your own ground. You may kind of clash a little bit um, because of that, but we'll bring the passion. Wisdom for the future. Seven of Cups. This is about how do you, in this particular deck, this meaning for me is how do we, how do we make our dreams reality? Because there's lots of different ways we can do that. Seven of Cups, different options. There's lots of different possibilities about how things can happen and how things can work. How do we ground this, this truth and this reality that we want? So this new love, um, maybe returning love, it, it feels like it may be a kind of Romeo Juliet situation, hopefully not all the way, but just this kind of challenging circumstance. What's, you know, like, how do we make this work? We have this passion, but I don't know how to get there, you know, or, or we're fighting or, or there's something that's kind of going on. Um, and you've just got to remember there's hope. There is a way. That's it. There's hope. And there's a way. Let's get some romance angels cards for you. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And I love this picture. I feel it is so romantic. And this person just coming up behind and holding. You know, I, I feel like you love this person. Like you're going to love this person so deeply. I feel like there's so much passion and it is just, it's like you're working through stuff together. This is typical, you know, learning and growth relationship where you go through stuff together. Um, you know, the cards are saying that you don't need to do anything. You need to rest and heal yourself and just allow things to come through in the right time and just to keep hopeful you may be feeling lonely for a while. You may be feeling isolated. But your feelings are real, okay? That the romantic feelings. Trust your romantic feelings. Let's see. One more card for this group, please. Okay. Ah, here we go. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay, so you may have different um, beliefs or ideas. Um... Yeah, like that could be what the conflict is about or or your families have different ones or yeah, there's there's some kind of difference that feels like it might be an issue. Mm, okay, one more card. <gasps> Very soon. Yes. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Another beautifully romantic card. I feel like, um, hopefully this means very soon. Um, but I feel like you have to make maybe some decisions about what your priority is. You may have to let go of some things or some ideas or some structure, belief structures. You know, you may have to not let go of who you are but allow yourself to compromise and be open to new possibilities or different ideas because something here is is real and um and when you when you let go of these different uh, when you let go of too strong a structured idea then you'll be able to find ways to make things work and and bring in 
this beautiful romance because the romance is real. Okay. Oh, what a passionate love story. It's like from a, a movie or something. Thank you, group number three. Thanks for tuning in. Please give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, drop a comment, and I'll speak to you again soon. Number four. Hi, group number four. I'm just going to shuffle. I don't know. What is the message for my beautiful group number four? Please bring through clear helpful information. What do they need to know? What do you need to know, group number four? What do you need to know, everyone who's tuning in and listening to this group? Two of Wands. Decision. Decision time. Temperance. Take your time. The tower. Let things let things crumble that need to crumble. Have hope. Have hope and faith. Things in time are gonna work out. Listen to your creative inspiration. Your fears are imaginary about fighting. You, um, things are healing. Things are healing. Okay. First card. Why haven't you found your person yet? Group number four. Princess of Pentacles. Mm, you may have been receiving information. So you've been in, in a process of mm, really going through forgiveness. Maybe forgiving yourself, forgiving others. Uh, grounding, coming down to the earth and really um, becoming aware of who you are and what you're about, what matters to you, what your values are, and really listening and paying attention to the world around you and how your, uh, maybe how your experience has unfolded, how the actions and choices you've made in your life have resulted in certain circumstances and, and what those mean. And you may also have been building up your, um, your health or your your finances, your work, you may have been quite focused on yourself and really um, on a journey of self-improvement. You may also have felt like you have met the person and you may even have received messages or received something from that person. You may you may think you know who who it is. You may feel like you know who your person is. This is Earth, Earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, and the other one, Taurus. Let's see. How to overcome. Make a choice. Make a decision. Yeah, so for some of you, this is, um, you may have recently or... Um, or a long time ago, met met someone who you feel you have this sense about. And it's about making the choice to actually move towards it and, and go through go through this gateway. And you know, to start with it's just like making the decision. Just surveying the area and just knowing what it is that you really want 
and yeah for some of you for, for those who isn't someone you've already met it's it's the same kind of thing really it, it's like you've been kind of in the process of receiving and now it's the time to not necessarily move take action but to gain understanding or insight as to what it is that you want allowing yourself the kind of to see the full spectrum so it's like you're not shifting from complete kind of passivity to activity it's like this kind of gradual movement from um yeah they like, come um, receiving the information to assessing it's like you're in assessment mode shift into assessment mode what is it i want what do i want to create how can i create it what are the options what are the possibilities what do i need to do what can you do to meet them um oh in reverse eight of pentacles in reverse So Eight of Pentacles is about putting in effort and putting in the work. So I feel right now might not be the time to put the effort in, but that ultimately it will. I feel like this is going to flip and then it will be like, okay, put the effort in. This can also be about letting go of work. Maybe you're doing a lot of work or overly focused in your work. If you want to meet someone and you're putting all your time and energy into your job, you're not going to have that energy or motivation to meet a new person. So you may be completely, you know, consumed or involved in your work life. And um, yeah, your what can you do to meet them is maybe create some more time for socialising for some people. And they might, it might even... There might even be some kind of shift or change in your work as well. Thinking about how to do things differently. Does that resonate? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. What are you going to do? How will you know you've met them? Four of Pentacles. I feel like you, you won't want to let them go. It's like you can't forget about them. You're just... It's like an attachment. You feel like obsessed with this person. Maybe you can't get them off your mind. You keep coming back to them. There's some kind of um, just holding on, some kind of impulse. You feel quite stubborn about it in a way. And it may feel, you may not like it. You may be like, why can't I just forget about them? Why can't I just get on with my work? Why do I keep thinking about this person? Um, yeah, maybe kind of may frustrate you a bit, but it, it's like they just keep coming back to you and you, um, you just, just want to hold on. Where will you find them? Princess of Swords. So... <laughs> This is um this is the card of uh the card of social media <laughs> has developed into being is the card of messages like uh, um quick texts social messages you may know them online um you may meet them online uh you may be connecting with them online it can be this um uh or it can be like a very quick chatty like brief um some kind of communication um yeah like light quick light brief kind of communication is likely how you'll how will you where will you find them through this kind of interaction when oh no this came out in the same place for the last step temperance temperance is the card of patience in time this is in divine timing. In divine timing, you will meet them. Um, you may have already met them. For some of you, you've already received information or messages or communication from them. Um, and you may like not be able to let them go. 
not quite willing to take action maybe, maybe you're focused on other things, especially work, or your practical life, you know, just what's going on in your world around you. Um, this could also be like your home, you know, you're kind of really just present, especially if this is someone you've met online, then you may be really focused on your physical world, you know, what's going on in your practical life day to day. Um, but there's like this person online uh, or somewhere else that you just keep thinking about and it's going to take a little bit of time for it to come through. Let's see a bit more why. Guidance. Prince of Pentacles. The guidance is to communicate with this person. The guidance is to connect with them, write to them, speak to them, um, to, yeah, to connect. That's what Spirit wants you to know. Chat. This doesn't mean you have to, like, offer massive, um, like, do anything huge other than just talk. Talk or write. Your first impression of this person. Judgment. Wow. This is like rebirth. This is very powerful, passionate. This person may be like a blast into your life or a blast. This is like blast from the past because it's rebirth. It's the phoenix. It's um, someone who um, just has a lot of strength, has a lot of power, um, is um, quite alive full of life, full of energy, free. You see the chains breaking here. It's like they're free of any bondage or free of constraint. They just um, let go. And uh, you'll know them from this sense of like power and light that they have. Common bond between you, King of Swords. So this is more air energy. Um, the King of Swords, you know, it, it's about having very, very clear ideas, clarity of mind, insight, thoughts, wisdom, being able to see the broader picture, clever. You're both going to be smart and clever. Um, similar minds, you know, you're really going to be as a meeting of minds, meeting of ideas, concepts. You may really spark each other's ideas and thoughts and uh, you might have a lot of debates or um, um, mm, yeah, thoughts, thoughts or ideas kind of that spark each other into new concepts and new, new ways of thinking. So there may be this kind of ideas generation through, through your connection. You may like games, reading. Um, yeah, knowledge. Wisdom for the future. Six of Pentacles. This is about balance, celebration. You see, I love this card because this guy looks so happy in this deck. He's got all his pentacles. It's like the wisdom is that the practicalities are going to line up. So the physical things, the money, the home, the status, the sex the body everything is gonna like the health it's like gonna line up in balance the wisdom is about keeping practical physical balance keeping financial financial balance so this is the thing about taking your time if this is someone that you know um just um you know kind of online or just or you just have their phone number or you're not connected physically then this is the wisdom is about lining things up physically and creating that balance and creating that um, grounded kind of sense and of this kind of sense of fun and happiness and passion. Let's get some um, Romance Angels cards for you. What's the extra advice for group number four? What would you like to contribute, Angels, to this? retreat it's time to disconnect from the world mm, I feel that like it's time for you to yeah with I think with this temperance card with this patience card 
the two of wands like overcoming your challenges it's really just about stepping back and looking and watching so it's about taking time and this this connection you know i either it's going to unfold in time or you need a bit of time or um this can also be about needing time privately with this person so having um retreating together having your own own space your own quiet space to connect to talk um to meet yeah because it's not disconnect on your own right the picture disconnect together so i feel like um like privacy having some privacy with this person it feels important okay other cards worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life gotta wait a little bit longer sucks right but um yeah some things just need to unfold and uh you know a bit of um a bit of a build-up can be fun sometimes getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so this feels like very gradual, kind of, it feels very intimate, you know, just um, over time developing this intimacy and connection and opening up to one another um, is worth waiting for. It's going to be beautiful, okay? It's going to be a really beautiful, beautiful divine connection, soulmate, and uh, yeah. very balanced connection, deep connection. That's my reading for you, group number four. I hope that that helped you. Mm, yeah, I feel like for some of you, this is, this is more about a reconnection or developing a connection. Um, with this judgment, how will you know them? Sorry, your first impression is like, it's rebirth. They, or they may just be like, a big impression. Yeah, okay. Thank you for tuning in. Please give me a thumbs up, comment if you've got anything to say. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That's it, see you soon. Lots of love, or oh, private readings below if you want. Bye. I've got to stop the video, right?